Zombie Co. here. Good evening, everybody. Hopefully this video finds you in good spirits. Today we're going to be working on the Kerbal Space Program. We're going to be hauling the T-45 Swivel liquid fuel engine into flight above Kerbin. Now, this one has a special set of uh, directions. You have to do it at like 47,000 feet within, or meters within uh, 53,000 uh, therein after you pass that. You have to be going 100 through 260 kilometers per second, as well as uh, like uh, it has to be activated um, in between that window there. So basically this is the rocket I've built to do that. This is going to have a little bit of extra fuel just in case you miss your window so you can shift it back and forth depending on uh, how good of a pilot you are and depending on if you know what's going on. So at any rate, let's go ahead and give you an idea of what I've built here. Uh, this right here is the, oh what is this? It's the back thumper solid fuel booster and this just fits on at the bottom here. Okay here, oops. It's being all goofy. There we go. Yeah, we'll set that there. Okay, so then we've got a connector. This is basically a uh, TR TAC 18A stack decoupler. And that connects to our T45 swivel engine. This is the first one in the rocket setup. And this is basically just to get us up there into the window that we're trying to get into here. And that's an LV TAC 45. This is also the one that we're going to be testing, but this isn't the particular engine that's actually up here. And this, uh, like I said, this is just to get us there. Okay, so this has four extra FL TAC T200 fuel tanks one, two, three, four. And then that breaks off into another decoupler, same kind as the decoupler down below here. Then this is the flea booster. This is in here. And this is just basically connecting right up here and this is going to give us just enough to get there. Actually, you know what? This is the hammer. I'm sorry, I forgot. Okay, so this is actually the hammer. Uh, it's the solid fuel booster and um, that's connected to another decoupler and then that's connected to our T45 and this is going to be the one that we activate when we get into our window there for the mission. Now this has also got two more cans of uh, fuel. The first one is an FL TAC T100 fuel tank connected to a T200. And then it goes into another decoupler. And then we've got a capsule, our pilot, and our parachute. And that'll be the end of the stages. All right, so let's just go ahead and rebuild this here real quick so we can show you. And also we've got these two connectors here as well. And you can research all this stuff. I think this is like all like third tier stuff I can't remember to be honest so if you might have to do a few of the other easier missions to get up to some of this technology I don't know depending on where you're at so um, this is the T18A launch stability enhancer you do not have to have this but it definitely makes your job easier so just keep that in mind all right so let's go ahead and rebuild this thing here and put our decouplers on put the solid back thumper on we got another decoupler we got our fuel tanks we've got the t45 and the decoupler all right and our back thumper fuel booster make sure our stages are good stage eight is our booster we've got a decoupler separate to our t45 at which point we realize that our launch stability enhancers are on the wrong stage so okay so that's the T45 then we decouple that launch into the what is that the hammer yeah the hammer booster cut that on the decouple or I'm sorry that's the decoupler and then we will separate there and launch with our T45 at which point we will spend all that fuel and decouple again separating into our capsule and come back down to earth all that's very simple and I'll go ahead and show you how to do that now okay here we are on the launch pad and you're just gonna to want to turn on your SAS by hitting T and then we're gonna go over our checklist here to the right make sure we don't miss anything keeping all this stuff in mind and let's go ahead and launch We have liftoff. Zombies in space. I repeat, zombies, well, they're, you know, they're heading to space. Yeah, maybe not zombies in space yet, but we're, we're on our way. 
Okay, so you're going to let this booster just pretty much burn out, do its thing. Don't mess with your SAS. This is all very precisely determined beforehand, and you don't want to go... Okay, you can do whatever you want, but this is how I do it. So, we're going to cut this here first. Separate it as soon as it cuts out. And then activate your next engine. This is the first T-45 in the series. This is not the one that we're going to activate for the mission, though. That's about th three stages up, two stages up. So this, initially, you're just going to let it burn. Slow down to about 70 kilometers per second, 70 meters per second. And then boost it up to that first line right there. As you can see, I did that. And we're just going to wait here now. And this is going to burn slowly. And it's going to get you up to speed. But we don't want to be going too fast because when we hit that zone at exactly uh, 147,000 meters up, well, if you're going past 260, you're not going to be able to activate your engine and get credit for the quest. So it's very specific. Just keep that in mind. And if you do shoot past it going too fast, you do have enough fuel to slow down and fall back into that zone. It's kind of a pain to do it that way, but if you're comfortable, you know, and you don't have to redo the mission, do what you got to do. For this video, though, we're going to do it in one shot. So as you can see, we're starting to get towards the end of this. I'm running at about 130, which is great. We don't want to be too far past it. I'm not too worried um, because that next booster, the hammer, is going to pop us up to about 700,000. But should be slowed down by the time that it crests at about 47,000 is what I'm aiming for in between that 53,000 mark. So, And it's hard to determine because weather, air, like all the wind uh, surface tension can affect it and all kinds of weird stuff. So, Alright, so as you can see I've separated and I've just activated my booster here. And this won't burn for too long, so just keep an eye on it. And you're going to see your uh, altitude raising. And you'll be able to see exactly where you're going to land at if you hit M um, when this is spent. And go check it out, because you'll have about, I don't know, like 30 seconds before you have to do your next stage. So so make sure you kick off your flea. Don't forget to do that so you're not dragging ballast. That'll kind of throw off the timing. As you can see, we're running at about... 500 meters and it's going to kick you into orbit down there so make sure you change that back um, and that'll that'll be into surface here right here so just click it change it to surface again because you need to know how much speed you're going or you know what speed you are relative to surface not atmosphere for this uh, mission so we're at 47 exactly right now but I'm still too fast so I'm just going to wait until we hit 260 and then I'm going to kick it and hopefully we should be between yeah we're going to be perfect beautiful okay so we've activated it and that's the quest there we go and now you're just going to let it burn all the way out I'm going to go sideways so I don't get too far up and it doesn't take forever to land back what you do not want to do is try to land with your engine make sure that you kick it because the uh, weight as you come in is it's gonna make it impossible to land it'll break your chute before you can get slow enough so make sure you separate and then uh, you know all that good stuff so here we're just gonna wait it out get into our uh, our maneuver to basically uh, hit the atmosphere and not burn and that's the uh, heat shielding that we're pointed at our uh, I forget is it the uh, periapsis I I'm a little rusty so we're getting geared up to make our uh, next shot into the moon so uh, I'll have to look up all this stuff before I do my next video but we're gonna go ahead and speed this up so you guys don't have to wait while we do this alright so we're entering atmosphere right now Woohoo! And just let it do its thing, man. Uh, you know? You know, man? Alright. A little bit of YouTube music. 
So we're just gonna let it burn, baby, burn. And as you see, it'll uh, do its thing. You don't even have to have SAS on at this point because it's just gonna fall exactly where it needs to according to the uh, way to design that uh, capsule we're in right now. So it's beautiful. Love it. All right, see, see where our air, air waves here now. We're still red on the parachute though, so you do not want to hit that yet. When it turns white, you're good to go. When it turns yellow, you might be good to go. <laughs> but if you gotta stop, you gotta stop. You know what I'm saying? But we're fine right here. So, all right, we're gonna kick it, and bam, we are doing fine. And this will actually slow you down real quick here because this uh, atmosphere, as you get into it, just gets thicker and thicker. Beauty. And we landed in kind of a cool spot. Look at all these weird trees. They're like cotton trees or something. And here we're just going to hang out and do our thing. We're going to land and uh, see if I can uh, get any science out of this area when I land in it too. It might be kind of interesting. I don't think I've actually landed around here. Ooh, the moon, it's pretty. We're we'll going to that next. Sure taking a long time to land though. Maybe we should have waited a few seconds. We're heading to that moon next, people. Head to the moon next. Make sure you stay tuned. I'll make sure to leave, get in this video when I get done with it. We'll probably do a uh, lunar lander and I'll build it piece by piece and test it out and get it there. And then we'll probably hit some of the other planets if uh, people are interested. Alright, so we're coming in nice and slow here. Nice and slow, maybe a little too slow. So let's see what we got. Do a little EVA action. Alright. Okay, so what do we got here? Nice shot of the moon there. Right, what is that? I don't know what that is. Okay, no science apparently. Maybe we have landed here. Okay, so uh, I guess I'll just hop back on in. We got that crew report. It looks like we got a little bit of science from it. So that's cool. And then uh, just make sure you recover your capsule. And then you just mouse over that to do it. Recover vessel. Click on the green Z buttons. And uh, there you go, fam. You have it. You did it. Amazing! We are space zombies. And for the next episode, like I said, we're going to check out the moon. Uh, these are all our recovered parts. And this is the uh, science and all the stuff we've got from it. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you watching. And uh, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and if you're a new viewer please do consider subscribing i really do appreciate everybody that watches and uh, like i said thank you all take care and good gaming